Hey everyone, Jersey Kev here, back with another video about Six Flags Great Adventures 2024 New Coaster Edition teaser videos. So I've already done teasers one through four, so if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back and check that video out for sure if you want to start from the beginning. If not, today I got teaser number five and teaser number six. There were other little things that they did post, um, some about the, the old entrance to the Six Flags Safari, as well as a video of them showing the old off-road trucks that used to be a ride at Six Flags where you can be in the Six Flags Park and go through the park, uh, the safari from the park. I don't think they're bringing that back. That's still a $30 upcharge attraction to see the giraffe. So I think that's going to remain as it's an upcharge attraction. But without further ado, let's go ahead and look at teaser number five and teaser number six because they really tell us a lot. Teaser number five, the biggest teaser that they've posted to date. It was posted 8-12 at 11-41 a.m. It is 4 plus 50 plus 48 plus 15 plus 24 plus 10 plus 436. The equals amount really doesn't really mean a lot right now. It might mean something down the road, but let's go ahead and break this down. Obviously, there's a lot of videos out there, so and I really think the roller coaster enthusiasts really nailed this one right away. And the, the Coaster enthusiasts have just been spot on with so many different predictions of the 2024 rides. So let's go ahead and get into it. Number four, I think that number four is going to be the amount of eversions that this ride's going to have. My sleeper pick on this number four would be the amount of launches because I think this is going to be a launch coaster regardless. So maybe launches, four launches, but I think it's going to be four inversions. 50. I think that's going to be for the 50th anniversary. I think that's pretty straightforward. No one else has really come up with anything else for 50, and I don't really have anything different. 48 could be the height requirement that this ride is going to require, so a 48-inch height requirement. 15, once again, pretty straightforward, just like a lot of other people are saying. Once this roller coaster for 2024 comes into the park, it will be the 15th active roller coaster for Six Flags Great Adventure. 24. Now, there's a couple different things that people are saying for this one. 24 could be the year that was built, 2024, or it could be for 24 people that sit in a train for a certain ride. So it could be 24 passengers per train. Um, hopefully this is wrong, but... Um, I'm thinking it's for 2024, but it could also be for the passengers in the train. 10 would be the airtime moments is the biggest guess for this one. Once again, I hope I'm wrong, but I think that's probably it. And 436, and this is where the big one comes and ties all the numbers in together. 436 meters long is a certain ride that matches up to a couple of these numbers. Um, I'll get into that a little bit later, but all these numbers kind of come together into one, at least most of these numbers come into one ride specifically that a lot of people think are coming to Six Flags Great Adventure. Like a lot of people said, it was definitely not what I thought was coming. I think it's going to be super, super cool, but more analysis and what I think it's going to be and what a lot of other enthusiasts are going to think in a little bit. So let's get to the sixth teaser. And here we go. We got number teaser number six coming right at you. Posted yesterday, 8.17 at 5.50 p.m. from Great Adventure on their Twitter, of course. What is missing? Batman, Justice League, Dark Knight, Superman, Joker, Green Lantern, and then a blank. Obviously, this is a hint, once again, that about the new coaster that is coming in 2024. So if you want to look at this more deeply, there's a couple things that people are thinking um, that this could be the Flash. Definitely fits into that and the people before it. Um, having a Flash ride would be really cool, especially if it's a launch coaster, which I believe regardless of what we're getting and what the speculation on the last video is, I definitely think we're getting a launch coaster. So Flash would be really, really cool. It'd be a really cool color scheme. It'd really match in with everything in that area. Um, but a little bit of a sleeper pick here. This park has Batman the Ride, Justice League, Dark Knight, 
Superman, Joker, and Green Lantern all at the park. They're all rides at this park. What if they did a throwback? This entire campaign has been talking about 50 years of making memories, making a lifetime. Everything that's been said is talking about making memories and doing all that kind of stuff. What if they did an additional tribute to Batman and Robin the Chiller that used to be at Six Flags Great Adventure? It used to be a premier rides um, dueling coaster that used to duel each other. And the ride failed due to technology at the time. Most likely there was power issues. The whole ride had a lot of issues, but it was a crowd favorite, even though only one side really ran. What if they named this Robin in honor of Batman, Robin the Chiller? I think that'd be really cool. Um, Is it what it's going to really be called? Probably not. Flash is definitely more likely, but that's definitely my sleeper pick is going to be Robin and theming it after that. And feel free to make fun of me in the comments because I don't watch any of the superhero movies or anything like that. I barely even know who's in what universe. So if Robin's not in this universe, then I'm probably an idiot. But hey, it'd be pretty cool if they named it Robin and go back to what they used to call it. So what does this mean for Six Flags Great Adventures 2024 new coaster edition? Well, a lot of the numbers are adding up to one coaster. You have the number four. Four is for inversions. You have the number 48. That is the inches required for this ride. You have 50 for the 50th anniversary. You have 15 for the the amount of coasters Six Flags Great Adventure will have after this coaster opens. You have 24 for the amount of riders this ride has and 436, which is the track length for this coaster. So there is one coaster that's coming to mind and a lot of people are talking about it. And that coaster is going to be a Vacoma Super Boomerang. Yes, that is what a lot of those numbers are all lining up to. And that's what you're seeing in this picture today of Vacoma Super Boomerang. There is one in China currently. You can watch the POV of it. Um, that's what it would most likely be. And it actually really lines up. It lines up with the majority of the numbers that is provided, as well as the fact that the CEO was saying that this was a late addition. This was something they didn't plan for. So you're not looking at a custom layout. You're looking for something off the shelf. This is a brand new model that coma is bringing back to bring back this super boomerang in a way that is going to be exciting for all i think this is going to be a great addition to six flags great adventure my only concern is the capacity as it only runs one train if you want more information about capacity, definitely check out El Toro Ryan's video. He went and broke down the capacity. They say you can get 800 riders per hour. I don't believe that, even with perfect operations. Once again, El Toro Ryan's video will really break that down for you. I think this will be great because it definitely fills a lot of gap. It definitely fills a multi-launch coach there that is not as crazy as King to Ka. Um, however, this is just not what I was hoping for. I was really holding out for an Intamin multi-launch. And the only thing holding me back from thinking that this is going to be the coaster that they're going to build is the fact that they added almost $50 million to the budget. Yes, that's probably spread out throughout a bunch of parks and that they're talking about this being the most expensive edition. This is going to be expensive, but I just saw something a little bigger than this, even if it's something off the shelf. But I think this is going to be great if they can add a turntable or, or be able to add a second train to increase capacity. I think that would be great for the park. But either way, if this is the addition, I am happy with it. This is great. This is going to be really cool for the skyline. I just wish that maybe we got something like an Intamin multi-launch coaster, something that interacted with the entrance. But I completely get the fact that liability of things falling out of people's pockets, etc. But yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video for now. Please stay tuned. Please be sure to like and subscribe and follow for more teasers and more analysis of it. But it does look like this is what Six Flags Great Adventure is getting for their new edition. If you guys have any thoughts or comments, feel free to yell at me in the comments. Um, and uh, till next time, guys, this is Jersey Kev. Have a good one.